We should be good now. Yes, 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 yes. Man, that was a scuffed fucking start to this stream. <laughs> hey, Kirky. Hey, Forge. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, we're good. We're good now. Uh, Kirky, Tanya, and Forge, and uh, Fry was here as well. What's up, guys? Sorry, uh, I know why that was going on. Because uh, I was messing around with audio interfaces. Because uh, I was... I bought Ableton Live a few days ago, and I was messing around in the settings. Oh, you're Fry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, still getting used to the Twitch names, you know. It's getting used to it, you know, getting used to it. Here in Boletaria, we speak of the legend of the two swords All right. and the last hero. The game is a little bit The too two loud. swords are Demon Brandt and Soul Brandt. So yeah, I was me I was messing around with the audio man, settings for Ableton. And the other I think that's the. Uh, man himself. Uh, hey Dallas, what's the up? The last hero is old King Doran. King Doran. Glad you're enjoying, guys. The yeah, yeah. We know, we know what's up with Doran and all that. So we did. We finished Fool's Idol. Oh, yeah, that's why I have a shit ton of souls. So I think what we're gonna do is we will. Thou seeketh soul power, seek soul power. All good, chill. I had a chill day today as well. The weather has been insanely good. And it's going to be insanely good tomorrow as well. Uh, so I've just been kind of chilling, vibing, as I put it on Instagram. I'll get two more points. I think I'm going to leave this at 15. Uh, 
I guess dexterity. I mean, this this weapon is still primarily dex, and that's all we can do. Art thou done? Me the thing about leveling in this game is that, hello again. I'm honestly, you can very easily clear this game without leveling up once. Uh, it's just how it is. Secret dagger, don't need, don't need. Gary Stiletto, I'll keep around. The wooden catalyst, I have one of. Adjudicators will keep. Uh, I'll keep some bracelets around. And this is the female only stuff. Maybe the hard leather boots, you know, just not to get rid of everything. Hello, hello, hello. You have a heart of Once hope. again to everyone. Okay, we got Soul Ray. Oh yeah, you convinced me to get Soul Ray because it's OP. So we've cleared all the level one worlds except except this one. And anybody who's played this game knows about the Valley of Defilement and why every Demon Souls player truly looks forward to this area. Imagine having Blight Town, but there's three of them. That's how I would describe this place. Yeah, th this is a little bit of a um, fucked up area. Uh, but we gotta get through it. You know, it's not like we ain't have a choice. <laughs> you already hate it? Yeah. Me too, me too. And it's full of these motherfuckers who will try to push you off. It's the same enemy as in Dark Souls. Uh, try to push you off the cliff <laughs> kill all the NPCs that would be maybe after we're done with this area I am gonna go on a rampage but right now I'm chilling I have had a very good day today and I feel like nothing can get me salty today maybe Valley of Defilement is gonna prove me wrong there but right now right now things are just chilling oh yeah that's the other thing about this area it has a high amount of ladders and you know about ladders in this game they are muy mal as the Spanish say but we do have this soul ray, which honestly doesn't do as much damage as I expected it to. But I guess the strength of this is that it goes through enemies. Is that gonna... <laughs> yes, I, I, I would... Did. I legit cannot tell if I can land on this or not. Uh, I don't think I can... No, 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 we can land on this. I think I would have fallen through there. Yeah, so the last episode of Daughters of Ash, uh, pretty much everything that could have gone wrong, went wrong. Oh, Blight Town? It is, uh, this area is also a little bit laggy. Even on PS3, this area is... It doesn't have the best performance. I remember that. I don't know, I'm okay with the look of... Well, actually, you know, Blight Town does look kind of weird. Oh yeah, and of course, I don't know if I mentioned... That there's no plunging attacks in this game. So... We gotta, like, go through that. Ceaseless Discharge is an eyesore. Uh, the whole of Lost Isolid is, I think. People did warn me about this area. Uh, I saw it on the forums for this game. Uh, hey, Leafing Tree, what's up? Yeah, people were talking about this place that uh, it gets very laggy, the frame rate. Oh, shit. Okay. I was like, what the hell is going on? That's a lock on for you. Oh yeah, and these guys can poison you too. I didn't mention that. 
so yeah people were talking about this area that it it can get pretty slow unfortunately maybe i should just enchant my weapon this is gonna like do way more damage Actually, kind of pointless because it's not enough to one shot. And I think this is where we have poison rats. There's a part of this area that has uh, poison rats, and it's not—it's not pretty. I guess not many people have played this game. Uh, that's the thing, like many, many Souls fans haven't played it. It's because, you know, unless you're using an emulator like me, or you have a PS3, it's kind of difficult to set this game up because I think I've mentioned this, right? It's never been out on PSN. Uh, there's no like remaster of it, so. What the? Oh, I'm, I'm out of shit. Mm, luckily, I stacked up on fresh spice in the previous area. Let's pop an old. Gotta get that Terry Crews feature on. And we'll roll with the fresh one. These guys, uh, if you pop them... It's like a pimple, like a gross pimple. It'll poison you if you... Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Okay, thank you. I was like, I'm sure I can hit this area. I mean, enemy. So yeah, again, this game is not the most accessible. Oh yeah, we have this woman. Won't you Sorry. Buy something? My poor child I just is broke hungry. all her shit. Uh, she sells pretty good stuff, but kind of expensive. This we gotta buy more of. Listen, that's gonna Finished be very. My little. That's gonna be very helpful going forward. Oh, there they are! Shit! If you think these enemies, I mean the rats, the dogs, and all that, are annoying. In Dark Souls 1 and Demon Souls and all that. Check them out in this game. These ones, as I think they inflict toxin too. Only completed Souls 1. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, this game and Bloodborne are like the two ones that are, again... A little bit inaccessible to most people. Oh yeah, this guy... Aside from the fact that his head is going through the bridge, I, isn't he supposed to... Huh. Honestly, I think... Without being or sounding like a mega fanboy, even though I'm gonna sound like a mega fanboy now, I honestly think a PS3 is worth it for Bloodborne. Generally, I think the PS3 is very good anyways as a console but the fact that it has bloodborne on it is just even better you know you got to be very careful with this enemy because this enemy is straight up a cheater oh, shit this is see this is what they do they try to push you off yeah, yeah for this game but i mean again There is the emulator. If you have a decent PC, uh, you can get it working. Because, you know, these types, of, sure, the PS3 one is not going to have, like, the 
the lighting issues, which is just because of my graphics card, but it still performs like this, so there's still like lag in the PS3 OG version as well. And the thing about it is, if you have a PC and you have the emulator, you can buy the game, like the actual physical game, and rip the files onto the emulator, you know, if you want to be like ethical about... Can I seriously not hit that thing? I think I cannot. Fuck. That's exactly what I wanted to avoid. But at this point... Whatever. We have Royal Lotus. Bloodborne 2? Yeah. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. I don't know. I'd like for it... I'd like it to happen, honestly. I'd be down with it. Okay, these guys are fucking annoying to hit, and I'm gonna ignore them. Uh, these guys do big damage as well. Big boy damage. Oh, fuck, you have one of these things here? It's not good. It's really, really not good. Listen, the reason I'm running away like a bitch is truly those enemies are the worst. Uh, I was just about to say, I think after we're done here, I'm gonna have to go and farm for healing items. Just a little bit. Because we are getting kind of low. Where is big boy? And if you think I'm cheesing this enemy... Hell yeah, I'm cheesing this enemy. They get even worse in the second mm, area of this place. So yeah, is this the end? Yeah, this is the end already. Uh, so I'm not sure about Demon Souls 2. Uh, not Demon Souls 2. We talked about... Well... Actually, we are, we're not sure about Demon's Souls 2, but Bloodborne 2 as well? I don't know. Again, I'd really like it to happen. Like, really, really. This is a shitty boss. Uh, yeah, there's, there's no two ways about it. It's, just, uh, it's not a good boss. First of all, I mean, look at it. What the hell even is this? Second of all, he's easy as hell. From what I remember. Actually that's kind of a feature of this area. That the... That the bosses are easy. Holy shit, slow down. Alright, that's what he does, he like spins around. Actually, is melee gonna do... Oh yeah, melee does win. Yeah. yeah, cause he heals himself. Holy shit. Ouch, okay, he's gonna freak out. Yeah, what even is this boss? I know, I know, I said that. Yes. To be fair, yes. I feel like that's gonna haunt me for quite a while. The fact that I died to the Moonlight Butterfly. Uh, but if you haven't seen that episode of Daughters of Ash, on paper, on record, I did not die to the Moonlight Butterfly. And anybody who says that I did, is obviously lying. So yeah, that's how it is. That video has been redacted, just like the fact that I died in the last episode of this game as well. That's redacted as well. The wriggling demon. So yeah, this boss is like, what even was that? Uh, and just kind of up and died.
cool. You don't get shit souls Thank for him goodness. either. I was what? Uh, deposit this. These are things that we're never gonna need. We but are in. Good to have regardless. I can forge weapons for you. Can I get it to plus six? No, I cannot. I don't You're have the stuff. Eh? I, can. I don't have the stuff. It's cool. I'll spend it on leveling up then. Uh, I don't know. How much do I need? This is the problem, you cannot check ahead in this game. So you cannot check how many levels I would need to get 3 spell memory. I think you need quite a bit. I still have the fucking cling ring on. Like an idiot. Uh, which one do I want? I guess we'll go with this. None of these rings I have are too good. Has anyone died to Pinwheel? Well, I don't know what will happen in Daughters of Ash with Pinwheel. Could be that they made him the hardest boss in the game, you know. And he's just gonna be like blasting me, but... You have your wits about you. Well, we can learn this. Po oh, oh yeah, he, he creates, he gives you Poison Cloud. The Moonlight Fest. Yeah, the mini wheel skeletons, they don't count. Like, the mini wheel skeletons are almost a boss in and of themselves. So the thing is, we could get these spells. We'll get Flame Toss. Fire Spray. Bring me more demon. I Honestly, I would probably rather use these. Uh, oh yeah, the Capra. Man, I don't know what the hell is going on with that Capra mechanic. I don't, I don't wanna... Like, have it spoiled, but still. It's a little bit of a mystery. It just sometimes shows up and fucks off my day. Yeah. Bone wheel skeletons are motherfuckers in this game. Okay, I'm just thinking of where I can get uh, half moon grass from. You don't sell you anything. If you are attacked by a demon, you will lose your humanity. Yep, oh, this is my thought. twin, by the way. Just what would happen then? I simply cannot fathom it. Masa. She doesn't do anything in this entire game, I think. Yeah, <laughs> Painted World is all in the little corners. Oh, they are insane. Oh, oh, I might have to get it. What's up, Shamix? How, how are you? Okay. I think what we're going to do is I need to he just sells crescent he sells fresh spice though I might get a couple of those you come back uh, let's see I'm trying to remember the best farming path good just hungry yeah Talks of food are not gonna get me this time because I actually ate today. I'm just thinking this is not this is not a hmm. I don't think we have a good farming path. Oh yes, we do. We ha we do have one. I just realized we do have one. So yeah, I know we always talk about or end up talking about food. But I had big dinner already. Yeah, you can't even... By the way, just showing this. That you cannot... Cannot go. This is kind of like the Golden Fog Gates in Dark Souls 1. I need to kill certain bosses to get through. So the thing is, these guys are easy to kill. Will I finish the game today? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. There's still quite a lot left. So these guys always drop half moon or late moon. Plus you can kill these guys pretty easily. And uh, they give you souls as well. And then you can just spend it. Okay, this might be risky. Okay. 
get the hell out of here. We will get pretty close though today, honestly. Grilled chicken and fried chicken, that sounds good. Chicken in general is OD. Man, okay. Something is up, the game is... Maybe I just have some, some shit open in the background that I don't normally have because the game is performing a little bit worse than usual. Although maybe it was the exact same way here. Ah, uh, that's gonna kill me. I was thinking about dropping, but actually in this game you never know. Because fall damage is... Yeah, the game is a little bit lagging a tiny bit, but... Honestly, I don't have anything open that I don't normally have. So... Maybe shit is just falling apart, you know? <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Okay, I need to figure out who the hell sells late moon grass. Uh, I think probably the other blacksmith, maybe? We can take a look. I have consumable souls as well. Once we get through... How does my PC? Uh, it's very new. I literally upgraded the whole thing last... July. I mean, I didn't get like the top top line stuff because that's way too expensive, but it's a pretty strong PC. So it has <laughs> that shadow though. Holy crap. That shadow was awesome. That's how, it, that's how shadows work. Please tell me you sell half moon grass. He doesn't sell shit. Damn. Don't. Maybe the lady in... The queen lady? Maybe she does. Havel is. No problem, Jam. What's up, man? Thanks for stopping by. Even if it's for just a while, it's good to have you. Alright. This area is annoying. I'm thinking, she... Yes, you can be out of healing in this game. Yes, you can. But the thing is, after after you unlock that fog, fog gate I showed, that area is like absolutely filled to the brim with enemies that uh, drop healing items very frequently. And that's one of the reasons why, for example, like PvP is absolutely broken in this game. Because you can literally, in like 30 minutes, farm up to a point where you have 99 of all the most powerful healing items and you know pvp was a, an absolute mess in this game it was just you know people just mass popping heals and running away it was it was not pretty a lot of the times I gotta find this hole somewhere. I think she's through here. Oh yeah, she's on the other side, isn't she? The singing stuff is pretty good. I don't think so. He 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 thought so. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. Like you gotta be careful with these enemies, like they do hella damage. Uh-oh. Speaking of hella damage, um Is he gonna bug out? 
He's gonna bug out. He's gonna... Oh! He bugged out, but it was still too late. Uh-oh. Damn. We dead. That's gonna fuck up the world tendency. It's all good. We have nine of these now. Hey, listen. This death didn't happen. Please help me. I really gotta find her. Zero deaths, exactly. What do you mean deaths? I don't even know what a death is. There's no such thing. Exact our revenge in just a bit. Oh, hello. Hello, item. Silver coronet. I think this is female only. Told you. You shit, bitch. Man, I wish everything didn't look the same in this entire area. I could find her a lot more easily. Yeah, that's also a good thing. Picking up three spices is... Well, that never hurts. We're picking up that paprika, that cinnamon, you know. It's probably a Dune reference, the spice. Using the spice for magic. Feels very Dune-ish. So yeah, it's nice to be playing this zero death run of Demon Souls. That guy just blew a load. Good for him. Okay, I'm gonna figure out where the hell she is. It's only gonna take like an hour more. Oh, I think I got it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So instead of going that way, you go this way. You slide into this guy's DMs, kill him. This one's DMs as well. And there she is. Oh, it's you. I am looking to purge. Shit, she only sells full moon. God damn it. Okay, that's a disappointment. So who the... But this is really cheap though. Hell yeah, I'm gonna stock up. Thank you. Now... Damn. Damn, damn, damn. So she doesn't sell... Oh, I know who it is. It's the motherfucker in... Uh, World 4. That looks like Patches, but is not Patches. He's the one that sells it. Actually, if I remember correctly, you can find him pretty close to the start. Uh, hold on. I gotta figure out well, where the hell we... There it is. Obviously I'm an expert at Demon Souls. I got this whole game memorized. That light is beautiful, praise the sun. Yeah, we'll go here. This area that we're about to go to, and we're not gonna go too deep into, is legit the most awful area in the game like this is this is aside from the poison swamp this area is some real shit uh, that's gonna be happening a lot so I think the dude yes there he is hello there we meet again 
You look terrible. Cheer up. Uh oh. Life. That is. That is. About as unpopular of an opinion sure as I could have seen. I get where you're coming from. I mean, listen. The thing about. We'll pop this. The, the lead demon souls is absolutely useless. Hence, it only gives oh. 1500. Okay, I think 34 is gonna well done. keep us. Good day. Keep us stacked for a while. Or stocked. Doesn't. I mean, Solar doesn't buff you, does he? Unless I'm mistaken about what he does. I feel like I'm gonna run out too quickly. Listen, we'll pop a couple of more souls. Grey demons. Grey demon's soul is useless. I can use one because I have two. As you can see, boss souls don't give you too much in this game. Pop one of these. Yeah, he oh. is weak. I mean, listen. Many well of the NPCs, I feel like many of the NPCs in Dark Souls 1 are held back by their AI. Except Tarkus. Tarkus is a beast. But Tarkus is like a different a different category. Especially he's on, uh, since he's on a weak-ass boss, you know. Solar is good for Gwen, though. Okay, so which of these areas am, am I going to subject myself to first? I think we'll go go with this one. This this one has... This is probably the longest area of the game. But... And it also has probably the hardest boss. Actually, why did I come here? Well, whatever. We can do the area and... Uh, clear out the boss later. I'm pretty sure I'll need a more powerful weapon for that. But this part of Tower of Latria is cool, I think. Yeah, Havel summon would be OP. I feel like... Well, he could also be really dumb. Get down here. So yeah, this area has flying enemies, unfortunately. Which is pretty bad because sometimes they don't land. And this is also probably the weirdest area of the game. Uh, they were definitely stoned when they came up with this. There's a giant heart giant beating heart in the middle of it that you have to destroy and that unlocks the path to the boss so yeah don't ask about it I don't think anybody knows what the hell is going on with this heart but it's here it does its thing I guess Yeah, it is, yeah. You're gonna be hearing it a lot in this place. Gotta cut its chains or something. Like, this is straight out of, out of Bloodborne. Yeah, because this, this is where the path is to the boss. But if you try to go there, or here... Yeah. <laughs> Nice. We appreciate those jokes here. This is another one of these where the fuck do I go type areas. It's possible to get lost. If you're not careful.
Oh, and there's ones with the crossbow. I think I'm winning this encounter. <laughs> Watch out because the Twitch cops are gonna get you if you make a comment like that. Although I think this is this channel is flying under the radar of the Twitch police, you know. This is a cool area, I think. Kind of has like a nice. It has a nice feel to it, unless until you go down to the swamp, which, as always, which is always is the worst area in any Souls game. Anything involving a swamp. What up? And also you have platforming, which is, which is never a good thing. And it's just spice. Yeah, yeah, law track. Essen he is essentially law track. I'm just straight up. He is here, yeah. You you gotta rescue him though. You need to get like a key and shit. He's cool, but then he ends up trying to kill you, I think. What she's gonna find is just not gonna happen. Ain't gonna let that fool kill me. His armor is cool. And I just realized I made a pun because his armor is supposed to like be always cold to the touch. So I like made a terrible pun without even realizing. Are you kidding me? Get out of here with this weird shit. And Nightbot is really on point on Twitch. I gotta tell you, he's way more on point on Twitch than he is on YouTube. So, you know, Nightbot might be working his way up to getting a raise. That's how you break the chains. Break the chains of the heart. <laughs> yeah. Good old Meat Boy. Man, that is a good game. I think there is a little platform here if you have a certain world tendency. I don't remember which world tendency, but there is one here. Yeah, Meat Boy is awesome. There's apparently a really good... I, I've heard that the mobile game, the Super Meat Boy mobile game is pretty decent. I heard good things about it. Good things. There he is. Let's go visit him. Listen boys, if you think Law Trek is edgy, Wait till you meet this guy. Are you here to fight the demons? If so, then help me escape this place. I am on your side. I have come to face the demons. This looks like a trustworthy fella. Oh no, you don't need the key. And he just straight up ghosts you. Walk, walks through. Thank you. I will remember this. I am certain we will meet again. Exactly. I fully put my trust in this guy. Uh, just how it is. But this is not one of... Oh, wait, it is. Shit. <laughs> okay. Well, goodbye, empty cell. And he just walks around here like an idiot. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way out of here, so we gotta, we gotta wait. 
he is pretty edgy. And he wears an armor that always keeps him cold. Like, goddamn. This dude is definitely an e-boy under that armor. He definitely makes Joker TikToks. Uploading Daughters of Ash? No. No, no, no. Not today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll upload the second part of this uh, stream. Oh, come on. Fucking hell. There we go. Garfield card? No, I haven't played it. I heard it's good, actually. I heard it's a good card game. The Crash Bandicoot card is good as well. So tomorrow I'll upload the second episode of this and uh, Daughters of Ash. These are fancy elevators. Unfortunately, where they take you is not so fancy. Welcome to the swamp. Luckily, this is not a poison swamp. It was just a swamp swamp, but it is hella easy to get lost here. Doing anything on Mother's Day? Uh, not for us because we had Mother's Day uh, last Sunday. For us, it's the first Sunday of May. We already did, did things. These are weird enemies. Yeah, there are two Mother's Days. It depends on what country you're in. Pretty good, pretty good. Just, you know... We... Tried cooking. With my dad. Which actually... We didn't fuck it up. We were grilling, so, you know, that's can't really fuck that up. Made my mom a cocktail. And that's just it. We just chilled, you know. Uh, that's where we would normally land. But if you take the law track route, fake law track route, you actually get put closer to the, uh, the actual intended exit, which is right here. Yeah, not many flower shops are open. There's this really weird... There's a store, like a big supermarket near where I live. And they have a flower vending machine. Like, legit. It has, like... It's kind of like a flower slash gift box vending machine. I always call it the... I had an argument with my wife vending machine. Because, you know, that's like... You have an argument, coming home from work, you know the wife is going to be pissed, you're going to hit up that vending machine for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I'm sure more people are using it though, nowadays. Fuck, I just, that was straight up healed in its face. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, don't even, let's get this Shard of Archstone out of here. The Shard of Archstone is the homeward bone in this game. Yeah, these enemies are ugly. They're very weak though. Yeah, I took out the Shard of Archstone because I don't want to like accidentally teleport myself out of the level. Hey Dean, what's up? Tiramisu. Strawberry vending machines, that's good as well. I mean, we ain't even Japan. Like, Japan has the coolest vending machines, for sure. But we got some good ones. Oh no! Am I in Black World Tendency? Oh, no, 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 I'm not. These guys show up here anyways. Oh, I was really scared for a second. Because being in Black World Tendency in this game is not pleasant. Oh. 
Is it a weed vending machine? But maybe that's just a little bit being... That's a little bit prejudiced for Amsterdam. That I immediately assume it must be a weed vending machine. Everybody thinks it though. Listen. Technically in the red light district you also have lady vending machines as well. And not lady vending machines as well if that's what you're into. You know, I always... I've never... Personally, I've never managed to get to Amsterdam. I always wanted to go, but it never ended up happening. But I have friends who have went, who have been there. Oh, it's a special mushroom landing. Okay. I have uh, friends who have been there before. And I hear it from other people as well. Like, basically everybody says that the red light district is like not worth it at all like this it's straight up a ripoff uh, this is just so expensive like from what i heard you go in the little window or like into the little building slash room and you you walk in and you're already 50 euros deep and it only gets worse from there so the general consensus I heard from many people, I'm gonna say who, is that it's not worth the price at all. But you know, don't knock it till you try it I guess, yeah. Amsterdam in general is expensive, yeah, probably. It's an expensive city. But the, the red light district is especially... And then you have the blue light as well. And... Blue light! We all know what blue light is. This is a fucking fast elevator. This is like going to the top. <laughs> Jesus. Like. This is the One World Trade Center elevator. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that's 30 seconds or minutes. Yeah. It's probably th seconds, honestly. It's like... You gotta be fast as fuck, boy. You gotta already have a half chub by the time you enter the door. This, there's one more, right? Or no, 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 there isn't. So the heart falls. There is treasure here. <laughs> yeah. Told you. Maybe maybe things were on sale there. Uh Dean, thanks for the follow by the way. I think if you want anything more uh you gotta pay extra. That's where like the real premiums start. You don't want the lady to just, I don't know, like fondle you or something. Ouch. That was a lot of damage. Yes, I have. Uh, I'm using the Kalij. It's 
pretty good weapon. Been working out so far. The killage. Welcome, Ben, by the way. Oh, so you now we have these guys all over the level. But luckily these things are easy as hell. And now... You can go to the boss. 60 pounds? Damn. Here it's not nearly that expensive. I don't know how much it is. Because uh, I don't partake in that industry. But you know, of course, like, depending on how much you want to spend, if you don't want to, you know, end up with weird itches all over your body later. Hey Moaz, what's up? Oh shit, the fucking... Are you kidding me? Alright, this is gonna be one more awful moment. This game, man. At least, you know, the thing that, like, really... Kappa. <laughs> the thing that really... Uh, like, the reason this doesn't bother me is that... Literally everybody has this problem. What the fuck is that? I've, never, I've actually never seen them do that. Can you please land? Are you kidding? Okay, and then he just decides to attack. He just realized he should be doing something. Okay, whatever, he's out of range. Now you know because you, like there's a place oh, behind where I work. Like behind my workplace, there is a pretty ghetto uh, part of like it's like the edge of well, basically nothing. Basically, it's like this really industrial area. And then it connects to the highway a bit later. What the hell? Excuse. Oh shit, did something not render? I think something didn't render. Gold mask. What? There's like an industrial area and it leads out to the highway and all that. And there's like this forest road. And there are ladies of the profession there. Uh, if you go along and man though that that place is sus as fuck like like I'm sure you can get something nasty without you know prejudging those ladies I'm sure they're very nice but it doesn't look like the most sanitary places which is funny you know the funny thing is that that road where all the girls are there's a fork at the end of it and if you go right at the fork there's literally a police shooting range and like driving test range and there is always a cop car at the end of the road and then I always found weird um, but, it, but technically we have yeah, we have legal prostitution. It's like technically legal, you know, it's like decriminalized. But, um... <laughs> Unfortunately, no, I think. But now the, they're out of work, I think, you know. Like nobody... They're basically, they have to go on unemployment now, you know. I don't think many people are stopping by nowadays. Yeah, I just swipe my fucking employee discount card. You know. And then we're good to go. The 
So I think I picked up most of the treasure. Uh, this gold mask. Oh, it's female only as well. What does this do? Increases bearer's max MP. Hell yeah, we're gonna wear that. You, you can't even see it. I think our hair is... <laughs> yes, it's like... A, we got a fucking Gucci hairband on. Oh, they're charging. It, they, they're they getting hazard pay, you know. Frontline workers. Man, Twitch is definitely gonna shut this shit down. Oh, Bancho as well. Thank you for the follow. Sorry I missed you. Oh, three away. Three away from 50, guys. I'm getting so close. And then I'll have a couple of more streams and we can get that sweet, sweet affiliate. And we can have bits. We can have no bits. You know, whatever. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do this boss just yet. I don't think I'm strong enough. But there is treasure up here. And of course these enemies. Which truly make getting to this boss. Especially since it's like the most difficult boss in the game. These guys make it a real experience. Exactly. Twitch police is gonna be like, yeah, this dude... He's only been streaming for a week. Actually, this is the one week Twitch anniversary. I should like... Pop a champagne or something. But they're already gonna be like, nah, this this dude is not it. Is that a weird boss? No, not yet. He comes next. This is the the gargoyles of this game, except they are a lot more difficult. Oh the pot fucking hell. The weird boss, which is supposed to be uh, an online fight, technically. That's next. Eight old spices. <laughs> like the the issue is, I'm like feeling super confident. But no, I have seven thousand souls is too much to risk. Too much. We ain't taking no risks like that. Yeah, you can fight someone online. Uh, it's pretty cool. The like the idea, you know, this is something they've tried with a lot of Souls games. You know, they have one in Dark Souls 2. They have this in Dark Souls 3 where you can be a part of the boss fight. But really in this game, because the healing mechanic is so broken, the fight is just extremely... Like people used to troll uh, with this boss fight that they would like equip all the most annoying equipment like Acid Surge, uh, Scraping Spear... You know, they'd have like uh, 99 of each healing item and they would just like run away from you, hit you once or twice. And it was just, it was just horrible. Uh, there were, of course, good moments. Like, not everybody was an asshole, but people were also assholes, as always. You know, somebody trolled DSP uh, with this boss fight as well. Oh, uh, and he played the game. Hello. Now, 
actually I have a lot of souls so let me just use a couple of these and there's no reason to keep these around I'll have a couple you know as backup if I need to like really buy healing items or something but these little ones I can just pop quickly we'll get a couple of levels you know I think what we'll do is I don't know do I want to do this boss or go to a different area because the thing is the second part of the mines area is where yeah that's easy cash the second part of the mines area is where you get more advanced healing now items uh, which will then make this part Soul easy. God damn, you really need to work for that so. fucking. Let strength be grand, so the world might this be fucking made. third slot. I'll go with vitality. I feel like I'm pretty low. Pretty low on vitality. So yeah, that's where you get a lot of the uh, Hello again. stronger upgrade materials. Oh shit, I have large sharp stone. Which yeah, means... Hello? Okay, so we need three regular sharp stone and two large. Man, they no make you work for your weapons. Like... A lot. A lot, lot. Fuck it, we'll go here. We'll go here, try to... Oh yeah, this this is part of the game as well, the monumental. We'll try to get us some holy fuck. This is one of the more annoying crystal lizards. But I think I think I've discovered the tactic for them lizards. So yeah, this is where a lot of the sort of more advanced mid-tier upgrade materials are. This area is also mad annoying. Luckily that can be tires. See, I can already get a lot of sharp stone. And this guy's corpse is like, fuck off. He... No, if I remember correct. Oh yeah, 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 he is here. You're right, because he shows up in the other area as well. The Shrine of Storms or whatever it's called. He doesn't have a lot of HP. I thought this guy would have more HP. So yeah, the thing about the second tier areas. For demon souls is that a lot of them devolve into uh, where the fuck do I go type deals like navigating some of these places can be a real bitch luckily I have magic yeah this is a pain in the ass Fucking hell. One thing I wanted to check. You need to repair your weapon in this game, right? Yes. Okay, we still have 80 durability. It goes down pretty quickly. I mean, pretty slowly. But... We'll need to do some repairs eventually. I am these things out here. Hey, what's the deal? You gotta wait for them to attack. They have like an attack where they slam their heads into the ground. I think. Or maybe not. You know what? You just 
thousand damage instantly unless you miss very well 1600 damage yeah he does that he traps you of course he does of course he traps you I mean it's patches what do you expect gotta have an OG, you know, classic Patches appearance. And this really is the OG Patches, you know. There's no other ways about it. Oh shit. No. Come on, lizard. Come on. <laughs> oh no. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. It died though. That's the issue. Yeah, Soul Ray is like mega powerful. The thing I wanted to do is there's like an optional area here if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, if you go down, there's some NPCs here, which are motherfuckers if I remember correctly. But I think I might be able to cheese them with magic. There's crystal lizards everywhere in this place. I don't even know what it was. Oh, there they are. These two motherfuckers. The fucking... Uh, yep. These guys remind me of the two cavemen from Wacky Races. You guys remember Wacky, wacky Races? I do. And these are those guys. Exactly. Easy money. They dropped some bullshit though, if I remember correctly. Like nothing useful. Oh no, they and it's useful. There's a reason people recommended yeah, Wacky Races is a classic. I used to have that Wacky Races, there was a racing game on PC, like a kart racer, which was, oh shit, well goodbye. Holy fuck, I don't remember, I didn't remember this place. I'm sure I'm, I'm not going to be able to like, get any of them. Damn, there's a lot of crystal lizards. Motley, yeah. Motley with sick laughter. As the MF Doom song goes. Actually, it's Mad Villain. Not MF Doom only. Oh, you get pure sh... Wait a second, you can get pure sharp stone right here? Hold on, I thought that shit was like mad difficult to get. No way, that's Bladestone. Bladestone is the one that's mad difficult to get. Okay, let me check something. Does quitting and reloading... Uh... Does quitting and reloading reset crystal crystal lizards? I don't remember how it is in this game. Oh, it do. Speaking of easy money, this is some real shit. Can I get two at the same time? Okay, I'm gonna definitely have to go back to the Nexus after this, cause. Hell yeah. We straight up cheesing this, boys. If you think I'm not above cheesing this, well, you're, li you're right, because I am cheesing the hell out of this. Wait a second. That didn't work. Or did I get all of them? Or do you have to be? That's weird. Hold on. Oh, it resets a limited amount. Damn, I didn't know that. Thanks, Gabe. Okay, whatever. We'll have to reload. I didn't know there was like a reset. Yeah, this is the... Fucking hell. 
I didn't know they were thinking of like galaxy brain ex like exploit prevention like this but back in 09 cool oh what up you are exactly what I wanted to see you two I cannot hit either of you you are motherfuckers oh well This is not the best weapon for fighting crystal lizards, honestly. Is he gonna disappear or am I gonna be... <laughs> look, look. That's a pretty good animation. Don't even think about disappearing. Bitch, he's already gone. Alright, whatever. He's gone. It's one time with each big boss you killed. Oh, okay. Okay, thanks. Thanks for the heads up. Still, listen, we loaded our shit up. Uh, if I can navigate the menus of this game, yeah, we are loaded up. Pure sharp stone, we have pure sharp stone. It's really strong. I think this goes to the tunnel area. Did I just fall into the fucking... I did. Uh, what the hell was that? Did I just fall into the Sarlacc pit? Shit. Hmm. I died like an idiot. I forgot that was there. Uh, obviously that I didn't die. If you think there was a death here, there wasn't. Don't listen to fake news. Are you kidding? Man, I should have picked a better weapon to make crystal lizards with. Holy shit, there's a lot of these dudes. These dudes all aggro on me, I'm fucked. Yes. Yes, I am. Hold on a second. But I gotta try like not losing my uh, souls that I collected. Nobody died. Oh, you have armor as well, or poise or whatever. Of course, these motherfuckers would get poise, whereas you don't get poise in this game. Listen. Sorry, boys. You gotta. I know you're just working, but you dropped too much good shit. Hey Lumino, what's up? Is that you? Yes, it's you. Sorry, your name is so bright yellow for some reason that it's difficult to make out sometimes. Shit. Oh shit. Just be careful. I don't wanna die. There we go. Did you see that triple shot? sick I'm also dead shot by the way I moonlight as dead shot this is where the dragon bone smasher would be okay. that's a world tendency thing though Soray is working out very well it's OP as shit which is exactly what I was expecting. So yeah. MLGs, of course. 360 no scopes, we got them. So... Oh shit, this is gonna kill me. I thought this was something you could... No deaths. There are no deaths in this playthrough. I thought that was a lot smaller of a... Shit. Mm. Good thing I don't die in this playthrough. Uh, I'm about to like fuck this world tendency up if I'm not careful. I really thought that was just like a little tiny drop. Listen, I may have been slightly mistaken there. 
The good thing is that I did not die. Uh, it would have been pretty embarrassing if I just fell off into the pit and died. <laughs> Luckily that did not happen. So we gotta wait for this fucker to come back up, this elevator. God damn it. Can you even call this elevator back up? Maybe I'm just blind as hell, but... Where the hell is the switch? There it is. Well hidden. Old monk. We're not too far away from that, honestly. We've done the area. Just gotta... And all, getting to old monk is easy as hell. And since my souls are not here, there's no point in going back, but still. I feel obliged. Okay, let's not fall into the Sarlacc pit. I just like straight up yeeted myself out there before. Exactly. Dark Souls 2 are my latest Daunters of Ash playthrough where I like jump off the cliff every three steps. But Dark Souls 2 as well, it tends to happen to me a lot. What up? Okay, lock on. Thank you for screwing my... You know what? Why do I even bother? And when I have Soul Ray, you know. Oh shit, there's a lot of good shit here. Telling you, in this area, they dump the upgrade materials on you. Oh shit, where does this lead? That's the trap, like that's the most obvious trap. Amazing trap ahead. Hello, Patches. Oh, you're not mad like the rest, are you? Seems like a nice fella. Well, what jolly traveling companions are we? Pleased to meet you. His Call me Patches. Oh, his nose is the most right insane there? in this game for sure. Go like, on and take he it. has a schnoz on him My for gift sure. to you, just to show that we're friends. Whew. I'm glad to meet you. These soul-starved imbeciles will drive you mad. What's the matter? I'm we'll fall into the trap. Oh, my apologies. It's just not your day. I skipped his dialogue. Promised, the treasure is all yours. If you survive. Good. Oh, I can survive. Don't worry. Soul Ray will allow, allow me to survive. You already followed Nightbot? Nice. Thick, exactly. Look at that. Look at that booty. Of course, the thing about this thing is like physical damage doesn't do jack shit. Luckily, as someone who is loaded up with fresh and old spice. Ain't gonna be too much of a problem. Yeah, if you... Doing this physical... Uh, can be pretty annoying. It just takes a long time. But... I am not above spamming... Uh, spells. And, oh yeah, and he blows up. Fucking atomic bomb, I swear. So I think I'm going what I'm gonna do pick up a couple a couple of more items around here. And then really I'm going to go back to the Nexus because there's still like half this area left and I gotta deposit all my shit, otherwise we're gonna get like overburdened and that's not good in this game because you can't do shit what up and a little spin to win he did
There's also the NPC here somewhere. And all this sharp stone is just... It's how delicious it is. We like them sharp stones. Exactly what we need. Okay. Do I want to use my one... Uh, get out of jail free card. Yes, I, I will use it. You get more of these later on. So, it doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter how hard you try. As, like, five Linkin Park songs say. Hello again. I'm Specifically, like, five Mike Shinoda songs as well. Hey, Eidsmore. What's up? You have a heart of Watch this. I can forge with This Kilij about to be up upgraded. Oh shit, we need normal sharp stone. Six of them. Do you happen to sell any sharp stone? I'm in the market for some. You come back alive. Okay, so we'll need to we'll need to like stock up on that uh, listen where do we want to go from here should I should I try the boss we'll try the boss I think I'm strong enough because this boss is a real motherfucker if you know I don't remember the names the fucking OG gargoyles, except twice as hard. But then again, you know, without being Hollywood, like my soul skills have leveled up, uh, as you can see by this deathless, death, le deathless playthrough. I can't even say it. But as you can see by this no death playthrough, like my soul skills have significantly leveled up so this boss should go down like a bitch you know how it is it's kind of a it's quite a run back honestly It's not even a run back. It's, a, it's just a run. This is the hardest part of this, though. Avoiding this fool. Ouch. Didn't manage to do it. Oh, I would have been so liked if he missed me. Hit me with that Okizeme. As I'm getting up. Yeah, you get hit by that guy a lot. How do I have more full moon than late moon grass? Whatever. No, we got soul ray. We got enchant weapon. I think I'm going with enchant weapon. That like doesn't... Why, why did I think that takes a... Man eater. Yeah. So the reason these dudes are motherfuckers, I think I kind of spoiled it when I said dudes, is because they can push you off really easily. That's their kind of main, that's their kind of main tactic. Like, absolute bitches. How do you get them to land? not as bad damage as I remember. Oh man, how do I get you to land? You 
can cut their tail off. Yeah, that's the... That attack is like the real deal. Am I gonna be able to get him before... The second one spawns? I don't remember what causes the second one to spawn. That's the one. That's the attack we all hate. We really gotta get this one. Okay. Only one thing to do now. Do not get pushed off. That's how this boss gets you. Otherwise it's easy as hell. But you know, it's like... One mistake and... Off you go. come up here. I think it's more difficult to get pushed off here, if I remember correctly. No, you don't. Not in this game. It's just they it takes away their flying uh, magic attacks. What the hell is he doing? This, this fool is bugging out. Real shit. Okay, he's just gone. Oh wait, doesn't he doesn't land if you're in this area, I think. If you're in that central area. Uh oh. Listen. As I said, you can instantly lose this if you're not careful. That's why I hate this boss. more. There we go. Easiest thing I've done. That legit was easier than I remember. Uh, but again, it's the unpredictability of it. That he'll just go boop and off you go. Goodbye. Oh yeah, water whale. Who sells that? I don't even remember. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me. I think it's... Bravo. My bad. Thank you for offering your demon souls. I cannot expect to have my... W Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As promised. Teach me new magic. Water whale. There we go. We're gonna get that. Uh, fire spray, we can get that for later. Bring me more demon so I, I think that's about all for now. The mixed demon soul, I don't remember it being very good for anything. Thou seeketh soul power, then touch. Yeah, there's a bit more RPG in this game for sure. Oh man, I just really want to get to three. I really want to get to three spell memory. It's like being very difficult. The game, I mean. Uh, swollen demon souls we don't need. But then again, there's the other magi magician as well, Yuria, who has like different stuff that you can make. We're gonna pop back here. Oh yeah, it's junk. Okay, I'm gonna use it. Satsuki. This game's biggest weeb. That is a lot, actually. Okay, so what we're gonna do is... We'll oh, talk to this hello. fool. And we're going to buy half moon grass. I'll spend 8,000 souls on half moon grass. Hold on. Be sure. 
Don't worry, we're not gonna get ourselves killed. And that's just how no death playthroughs go. But that's how this game is, you know, a little bit. It's like there's a lot of warping around. Let's kind of go all over the place. Oh, where the hell is she? There you are. Oh, how long does it take to get the free soul memory? Oh, there it is. One more. One more. I really, really want three soul memory. Uh, let's use... I have a lot of souls. Okay, swollen is useless as well then. Thanks for letting me know. This helps. Oh, hell yeah. That's gonna be, that's gonna be enough. Hell yeah, spell capacity. This is this is the real shit. Bravo! Let our human. Oh, I wasn't listening to you. He always has new dialogue when I'm just like shutting him down. Okay, let's organize this. So we want soul ray. Flame spray, I mean flame toss, and enchant weapon for now. Bring me more demons. So I yeah, that's gonna be. It's gonna be what we're doing. I think we might as well clear out this arch stone. This is a very short area, and the boss is extremely easy, so. Like, honestly, getting to the boss is more difficult than the actual boss. So we'll just, like, do this, I think. If you want to see the OG Xanthus King Jeremiah, here he is. Old monk. And this is a cool design. He's gonna summon some schmuck. The chairs I never really understood. Don't ask about the chairs. The dude just likes chairs, you know. Like, don't judge him. dead it's my favorite boss in the souls games it's a really difficult one i like quite a few but probably like the og favorite is and Artorias probably those two are like the ones that I've always liked oh yeah this is a cutscene you cannot skip right yeah yeah They're fucking well you know I've played plenty of Final Fantasies uh, so I know about unskippable cutscenes believe me when I was fucking 10 years old fighting every in Final Fantasy oh, that extended his long. That does a lot of damage. Listen, so yeah, I remember fighting Evre in Final Fantasy X. The long ass cutscene before it. I know how it is. Same with Seymour. And even fucking, you know, Crisis Core didn't have. Uh, skippable cutscenes either on PSP and there was that Genesis boss fight that I died to like many many times uh, the first Genesis fight and there's a long ass CGI cutscene 
Oh, Is that gonna kill? This might kill. No, it's not. I was worried. It's gonna try to oki me. Yep. This is why you don't want to die to this boss. Luckily again, the NPC summon is very easy. As far as I remember, he's easy. Yeah, I don't think so, Crystal Wizard. Okay. We're loaded up. I think we're good to go. No, not not that. Shit. Whatever. That, look at the MP cost of that. It's like nothing. So yeah, we got to PvP this fool. Luckily, you have bleed, or I have bleed. He has his little magic balls. Oh, he doesn't do as much damage as I remember him doing. I think the magic bullets are more dangerous than him. What happens if I... want to, like, soul ray him. Eh. Ah. Underwhelming. Flame toss. Yeah. Magic ain't it, chief. Listen, I am a professional Demon Souls PvP player, so this this dude is not gonna get me. Nice. I've used the Channeler Trident. It's not as impressive as it is difficult to get, honestly. You obtain the soul of an Irish demon. The thick colorless fog shall oppress you no more. Nice. People stop jeweling around here. So now we can go to the third area of Boletaria and oh shit, what the hell camera. And the reason that is good is because that's where all the that's where all the OP uh, healing item farming can be done, seriously. Like once you get to this area, like you ain't never gonna need to buy more healing Men items. You can still buy them, but it's just not gonna matter. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, the dude. So, the deal with our friend here. Where is he? I think he's in the corner there. Where the fuck is he? There he is, hiding. I am indebted to you for your help in Latria. Without it, I mean, I would not have made it back. Listen, to the, the channel of Trident. Now I can. You know, go I got it because I was going for the completion. And for this that, part, but it's, it's basically just a normal spear. What is it? I have no business. We do not be concerned. Life cool is armor. hardly exactly. as precious as one might think. Literally cool armor on this dude. So yeah, uh, the thing is, he starts straight up murdering NPCs inside the Nexus. The thing about him is... Uh, kind of got to kill him. I'm not going to kill him just yet. We'll leave him alone for a little bit more. But then we gotta, we gotta, we gotta bite the bullet eventually because he's gonna, 
murder people. Fuck him up. I'll, le I'll leave him for one more area. We'll leave him just a little bit longer. King Alant led Bolataria with a round table of brave knights. The royal twin fangs, Balafax Alfred, heard this the before. knight of the tower. Oh, maybe not. Metas, the knight of the lance. And the brave tribesman, Longbow Ulin, and his fearsome legions. But today, a weird noise from outside. Bolataria is an abysmal mess. Valifax was lost, and Bjor slipped through the fissure, never to be heard from again. All the rest, along with Bolataria, have been devoured by the fog. Exactly. And will soon be prey to the demons. The Bolatarian knights are no longer. Just wait on that. But perhaps our age will see the rise of new heroes, such as yourself. With a face like this, you know, who can resist me? You say anything interesting? Have you met the last surviving monumental? Oh yeah, he's a little bit stuck in the past. Those fools revived the old one on a whim. And now they've trapped us here in the next It's yeah, yeah, yeah. trap. He's a little bit emo about it, but... Well, you found yourself a d I'm impressed. Stay the path. Can't you see you've fallen for their trap? Yeah, definitely. You... Have you seen my corporeal flesh? Have I? Has my body gone rotten? It's probably a yes, then. I'm sorry. Okay, I think he's gonna like die eventually, right? Uh, do we wanna come? I don't know if I'm strong enough to go there just yet. Uh, I, I don't know where to go. Uh, that area sucks. That area sucks. This area, the boss sucks. Uh, we'll continue here. I don't know if I'll have time for the boss, because uh, there's, there's still quite a bit left of this area. But for like farming and shit, it's gonna be good. If I get more like sharp stone, for example. Ouch. Hyper armor. Yeah, again, topic, I would say it's not worth farming for the channelers again unless you're going for like really like completionist type stuff you need it for the weapon all weapons trophy uh, but that's about it i mean it does its stuff I thought that guy was straight up using a whip. I was like, damn. <laughs> We're eventually gonna get to the point where these weaker healing items are gonna start becoming useless, you know? God damn, the slowdown. I think the soul ray is definitely like a thousand times more effective. That's all good. Oh, the slab! Yeah, the slab farming is insane. Uh, it's extremely, extremely low. I remember that old playthrough. I think ENB was doing like way, way back, like years ago where he was gonna get like all strength weapons oh he wanted to find yeah that's what he wanted he wanted to find the best strength weapon in the game but he had to upgrade all of that to plus 15 and i just remember he was just like endlessly farming and i mean truly endlessly uh and he got like one or two at max 
is pretty insane if you ask me. The drop rate is incredibly low. I think you can like drop down here somewhere, can't you? Like, like right here. Yeah, right here. Yeah, again, in this game, I swear you fall through air like you would fall through water. Like, I, I swear this place, this game takes place on Mars or something. Uh, Cause you just like gently float down to the ground, not even taking any fall damage. So yeah, we got that going for us. So yeah, patches. What does Patches have to say about himself? You! How did you do that? Worry not. The treasure is all yours. It's all Tough we need. Tough luck with the bear bugs. But you certainly showed them, didn't you? Exactly. Here it is. The treasure. Safe and sound. Go on. Take it. What a troll. He gives you the Ring of Flame Resistance, which is actually fairly good for the boss of this area. That and Water Whale should be basically able to negate most of what the boss will be able to do. Because uh, if you haven't guessed by now, there's a fire boss waiting for us at the end here. Uh, probably... Like, legit the hardest boss in the game, I think. Is it dead? I think it's dead. Oh, no, it's not. It's like an actual insect. You think you killed it and it just, like, fucking respawns. That was, like... That was a th thing. And this happened, like, years ago. I was... I was, like, 10 or, le or 11. And I had my window open somewhere. And this, like, giant-ass hornet came in like truly like a fucking like a fucking beast and I swear my dad hunted that thing like the entire night we managed to kill it we thought and then next morning my dad wakes up and the fucker is flying around the living room that thing like straight up respawned he, he was hit with that second chance and just straight up, you know. Yeah, just straight up respawned itself. I was like, damn. That was just something I wanted to do. Uh, what? Oh, I remember what I wanted to do. Check the durability of this. Okay, it's all good. It's all good because I leveled it up. So yeah, hornets are not to be fucked with. I'm telling you. What up? <laughs> Please tell me you sell sharp stone. Hell yeah. It's just what I was looking for. It's just what I needed. Actually, I'm almost tempted to get out of here and level up my weapon, I mean. Because, you know, like, this is going to lead to boss anyways. And we'll have to get back and get Water Veil as well. Old Monk is dead. Old Monk was incredibly easy. Uh, being a Demon Souls PvP expert, you know. Such as me helped, but you know, seriously, that's an easy, that's a very, very easy boss. Uh, oh fucking hell! The slowdown. Uh, which tunnel is it? Yeah, you straight up gotta. Gotta learn this thing. This always reminded me of Half-Life 2. 
for some reason this part like the fucking ant lion den from half-life 2 man that area was shit half-life 2 is still a great game but fuck the ant lion den Oh, I can? Oh, yeah, I didn't even check. Oh, what up? I didn't know there was... Okay. I think that's because we gotta go this way. A very good friend left his car in a storage unit for several years while he was in an army. When he got back, the entire storage unit was... Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, you hear? That sucks. First of all, the car. That's the thing. That really sucks. But you hear about these like giant ass hornet ne hornets nests. And they get like crazy, I swear. That's a fucking crazy animal. Like, you know, bees are at least useful. You know, nobody has a problem with fuck. I was like, hey, is that a treasure? It wasn't a treasure. Like, bees are chill. Hornets and wasps? Fuck them. They don't do anything. Oh yeah, you just got a dragon longsword here. This is like the lightning spear. Oh yeah, that's how, that's you, how you can get fucked up in a storage unit auction. I can probably get these with water wheel when I come back here. But otherwise normally you just like run through here. So yeah, this dragon longsword you get is straight up like the... Is this where I'm meant to go? Let's grab this. There's two fucking crystal lizards. Oh, whatever. Who cares? Yeah, hornets. Yeah, I mean, for sure it was probably insured. Can you get your ass off the treasure? Oh, that's good. Homing soul arrow. Then again, my physical damage ain't that bad either. Okay, we just exited like the world a little bit. Yeah, this is not where we're meant to go. This leads to that area, right? So yeah, that dragon longsword you get is basically the lightning spear of this game. It's like the free OP gift weapon you get. slow down yeah that's really sad I'd be pissed I'm sad if that happened to my car that is not the way to go you know like even though it is insured you know sure okay they pay for it but it's still not the like you might have had some sort of sentimental attachment to that car I'm so fucking lost like like legit uh so this is where you enter. This is okay. I got this. Go through here. This first entrance leads to... I'm just trying to like... I'm just trying to like... Reorient. This is where this is. Oh, it made it into the local papers? Damn. 
What car do I drive? I have a Peugeot 308. We just go straight ahead. No, 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 but this is where this fucker is. I really do gotta go into that pit then. Man, the camera goes absolutely insane here. Oh shit. We're past the two hour mark, whatever. I'll just keep going. I'm having fun here. Dodge Journey. Those are good. I like small SUVs, but. I was looking at a couple. I was looking at getting a, a Honda CRV, although that's kind of on the larger end. But they're expensive as hell. Ladders. Ladders in this game are insane. Like, look at this. Look at this. This guy is like straight up. Following OSHA regulations, that's how careful he's being. Are you just like putting me to sleep? Climbing up ladder in this game. I know this just leads you back here. There is treasure. Nothing good. Yeah, that's a CRVs just go on forever. Uh, this one, this Peugeot is an auto. But, like normally I drive manual, but... Listen, I lived in both worlds, you know. I lived in the US where everything is automatic. I lived here, I drove manual for many years and anybody who says that a manual is better than an automatic is lying to you honestly you know pe what people say is just like oh yeah it's like the feeling of shifting and all that listen when you're sitting in traffic in the morning like none of that shit matters and it's just like you know, I've sat in plenty of traffic jams in manual cars, and it sucks, you know. First, you constantly glo go first, neutral. First, second, back to neutral. Okay, we gotta go first. It's, ju it's just, uh, it's not fun. I think, personally. Okay, so this is the boss. Uh, but I'm, like, not prepared at all for this, so... Hopefully I have a... I do not have... Okay, well, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Uh, I should have saved my arch stone piece for this. Now that I think about it. I don't even know why I came all the way up here. Oh shit, maybe I'm just about to die like, straight up. And none of this is gonna matter. Okay, here's the deal. That's lucky. Like, my commute is... When there's no traffic, when there's zero traffic, my commute is 15 minutes as well. But uh, normally, you know, when it's not COVID and locked up and all that, there is, like, major traffic jams. But, you know, I'm talking, like, more in, like, generally, you know, like, when I used to travel to other countries as part of work, you know, just, like, to neighboring countries, you know, sometimes sitting on the freeway when there's an accident in front of you in a manual car is just hell, you know. If you're just going on the freeway, you know, quickly, honestly, whether you have manual or automatic, it doesn't matter. Because you're going to get to fifth gear or sixth or whatever, and you're just going to cruise normally but when it gets down to it or like driving in the city you know straight up it's not it's not not as much fun as people would think it is anyways i'm gonna go 
uh because we're way over two hours not way over but we're over uh thank you guys very much for watching hope you enjoyed this stream i think we got quite a lot done today there's not much more left from this game uh we're gonna get uh plenty of uh plenty of things done in the next one so see you guys can be like traffic no it's not traffic in nyc is way worse but you know uh, that's nyc is special anyways thanks for watching guys peace out this is going to be on youtube daughters of ash is going to continue as well as always and see you on tuesday i think bye